when I realized that my talent was worthwhile to me was at the age of 12 years old after. So I took that talent and nurtured it through the passage of time. Haze, haze, and haze, it's Leopardus. And I didn't really feel like being on camera today, so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna upload this picture of me, and this is gonna be me talking. So whenever you see my picture, it's just me talking. So before we start, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need a spray bottle, sea salt, a wash rag, Irish spring soap, tea tree oil, St. Ives scrubs, or any scrub. And all the products will be in the link below if you can't find them in your neighborhood. Um, they're available on Amazon. So this is the picture of my hair that's on my leg. I don't really have a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it honestly is a lot. And I'm going to show you how I removed all this hair and how I make sure that I don't have any dark spots on my legs because I hate it. And one tip just to know, I don't shave at all. So step one involves just wetting your legs. Step two, you spray with sea salt water. I just love the feel of the sea water from, from when you go in the ocean. So I try to recreate that just so that I can, you know, have that feeling on my legs. And then what I do is I scrub with Irish Spring soap and that's step three. I love Irish Spring soap. I just feel like once I'm done taking a shower in it, I feel like it does the job. So I just really love Irish Spring soap and it's good for acne as well. So I just rinse my legs once again. Next, I use a St. Ives scrub just to get all the dead skin cells off. You can do this for approximately one or two minutes. Um, you don't have to go like five minutes or so. And now step six, I just rinse my legs. So now once all six of the steps are completed, take a break, go to sleep, and wake up in the morning. I wouldn't recommend using the shave cream exactly right after you've done all that stuff to your legs. I don't know, I just feel like, you know, with the chemical and exfoliating, it's not really good for your legs. So I usually just wait the day after. Um, I don't use razors on my skin, so I don't shave my legs. I only use cream on my legs, which means I do not use it often. I sh probably use this cream like once every three months. So now a new day has come, huh, wake up. So what I'm doing is I'm just washing my legs with the Irish Spring soap again, just with a rag, getting all nice and sudsy. I'm adding sea salt spray again because I can't resist the feel of, you know, the sea salt remind me of the ocean. And then I wash my legs and just dry it with a towel. So now begins the process of the cream. I love the hair removal cream. So I'm just adding it to my legs to make sure that, you know, I have it everywhere. I'm getting it in the front and the back, trying to rub it in too much because it's not good and the instruction says not to do that as well. This, all I do is just rinse my legs off and use a towel to just dry my skin off. And these are some pictures of the after. So as you can see, my legs look nice and smooth. And I'm just going to add a little bit of tea tree oil on my legs because I like the way it feels when I have oil on my legs after I do this. And this is my leg once I've added oil. As you can see, it's shiny and nice and there's not these dark spots that we hate so much. So that's basically my shaving quotations <laughs> routine for V. And, and I only shave one to three times a month, so I don't really like, you know putting too much chemicals on my skin consistently. So I would say sometimes give it a break, especially you know if it's winter season. But thank you so, so much for watching Leopard Gang. I appreciate you guys. And make sure you like and subscribe for more. Bye.